In what ways can you track your performance within Subject World? So there's one of two ways. Firstly, you can use your annual record and you input all of your test scores into that. And then the second is the graph, which takes all of your scores that you've just inputted and places them into a graph which is more visual and it's a great way to see all of your results over the years. Can you create flashcards in Subject World? Yes, it's really simple. All you have to do is type the question and the answer. Can you revise from other people's cards? Yes, for example, last year as a class we were set the task of writing five revision cards each. By the end of the week we had 150 cards to revise from. With any particular topic within a subject, is there a way of conveying to a teacher which skills you do and don't understand? Yes, there is. In subject world, you can use skill sync. So for each skill within a topic, you have three different options. One is red, one is yellow, and one is green. And if you click on red, you don't understand anything about it at all, and the teacher needs to spend time with you on it. On yellow, it means you sort of understand it, but there might be one or two things you may need to go over again. And if it's green, that means you're 100% sure of the topic and you're ready to go to the next topic. After an assessment, in what ways can you analyse and improve on your performance? There are many ways to analyse our performance in, a, in an assessment, but the way we use most often is the gap analysis. In this, every single question is linked to an objective. We enter our individual marks for each question into the box provided. We then can see how well we did on each question using a traffic light system. The ones we then did particularly bad on, we can view as they are read and we can see what objective that was linked to. And then we have a feed forward question to improve our performance in the future. Can you record your timetable within the app? Once you have added in all of your subjects in the home screen, you can easily go onto the timetable and add in what periods you have each subject by clicking the subject and then what period you have it. It's easily customisable by clicking the settings button in the corner. the revision schedule? I've used it to plan my revision more effectively so I can plan on different days how long I'm going to revise for and when I'm going to revise and this has helped me to improve my grades in maths and my science. How do you use the tool? You select a subject which you have already put into the system previously and you highlight how much time you're going to spend on it and when. Well, you can get points for completing certain aspects of the app and you can find this within your Shield profile and this, the point system like, enables you to have weekly competitions with your form and within the school year.